bad luck. Again. I'm not playing this game anymore. <laughs> look, look. Cuba found Spike again. <laughs> Unbelievable. Spike can't hide to save his life. What? <laughs> what do you mean can't hide? Well, I'll show you how to hide. That means you too, little piggy. <gasps> it's a black frog. <laughs> What's the matter? <gasps> Don't you know? Running into a black frog is bad luck. Bad luck, I'm telling you. <laughs> a black frog! Stop! Stop! Don't move! <laughs> back! Back, I say! Uh, back! Uh, run away! Run away! Oh, big deal. A black frog. So what? It's just a superstition. We don't believe in such things. Okay, we gotta go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look. Isn't she a darling? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. You guys know nothing about being fabulous. Cuba? Are you all right? Leo, what if this thing is actually for real? What are you talking about? A black frog hopped on Cuba, and Spike said that this is bad luck for him. A black frog? Hmm. Huh. Actually, there is a story I heard before. It's of the spooky swamp monster. <laughs> In the dark and gloomy forest, in a spooky, noxious swamp, there once dwelled the evil, wicked swamp monster. <laughs> and it was bringing nothing but misery to every creature in the forest. So the kind spirit of the taiga chose to punish the swamp monster. And he turned it into an eerie black frog. But even as a frog, the inhabitants of the forest could not rest, for the swamp monster continued his reign of terror, bringing bad luck to all who crossed his path. <laughs> So it means Cuba is going to be... Don't get yourselves worked up. They say that the curse only works for just one day. If nothing happens to Cuba overnight, then you don't have to worry about a thing. See? Relax. Nothing will happen to him. Together? We'll protect him. Take 
Keep your eyes peeled. I will, Leo. By the way, I just remembered one more sign of bad luck. Cuba, spit it out! One of their last years. Everyone knows this fact. The one who eats last year's acorn will have an oak tree grow out of his head. I heard this from Magpie. So, Cuba, you better play it safe. You'll eat tomorrow. Cuba! Cuba! Cuba, you can't roll in the mud! Did you know that there are evil spirits there? That's it. They must be hiding in there for sure. <laughs> wee! 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 Cuba, be careful! There could be snakes in the grass! We got you. We won't let anything bad happen to you. Look, Cuba. The sun is setting. Tomorrow the bad luck will wear off for sure. We just have to survive the night is all. Yeah, and I know a safe place right around here. Bravo, Tig! You found us a pretty good cave. Nothing bad is going to happen to Cuba here. You got that right. Did you hear the story about the cave monster? No, Tig. He's somewhere around here. And then the monster suddenly jumps out. Wait, wait, wait! Cuba, 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 wait! Cuba! Cuba, stop! Cuba, stop! Cuba, stop! Cuba, Cuba, stop! Curse must be real. He's doomed to sit in this pit till the end of time, huh? Tig, we need to ask Mappa Pandiga for help. All right. The black frog, you say? Well, yes. It brings bad luck. Please tell me how a small, tiny little frog could have driven Cuba into a pit. Well, it wasn't the frog. He did it himself. He got scared to death and... Well, who scared him that much then? Yes, uh, who indeed? Why are you looking at me like that? Tig? I think all our stories may have scared the living hooves out of Cuba. Oh. <laughs> oh. Kids, with your good intentions, you trampled a path for your friend right to a pit. You know what? Because of all these bad luck signs, even I started to get spooked. We're sorry, Cuba. How about some hide and seek? <laughs> That's bad luck for sure. Tig! I 
hope those aren't last year's acorns. Tig. Aw, oh, come on. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Get up, lazy bones! <laughs> Time to wake up! <sighs> what if we skip it today? I'm so sleepy. <sighs> you sleepy heads! Yo, line up! Suck in that gut! And now... <laughs> Some water aerobics? What? It's time for target practice. What, target practice? Okay, there's an old stump in a clearing. Well, who will be the target? One, three, two. This will surely be you. <laughs> Why do I always have to do it? Quiet, you. Now get to the hollow. Where? To the hollow. Ready and aim. With you. Can't you be a good sport? We're playing a game here. Well, it's a horrible game. Huh. <laughs> it's not horrible. It's like the best game ever. <clears throat> Do you want me to show you a real game? Playing Battleship. Hey! All hands on deck! Drop anchor! Aye, aye! Captain, set sail! Captain! Buy some reefs dead ahead. Ensign, give me the spy glasses. Aye, the spy glass, Captain. Helm to port. Aye, helm to port. Ensign, hoist the colors. Aye, hoisting the colors. When you need something done. Whoa! Well, how about that? You see? Now that's what I call a real game. Ha! <laughs> Big deal. <laughs> On the other hand, if this was a pirate ship... A pirate ship? <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. But where would we get a pirate ship? Why don't we just build one? What? <laughs> Pirates don't build their ships. They steal them. <laughs> All we've got to do is wait for the right moment. Guys, we're going to be late for Mappa's lesson. We better hurry up. <gasps> right. Let's get going. Spike, check it out. What? They're gone? <laughs> Are the boarders ready? Boarders away! Charge! Charge! <laughs> 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 Steals time from the one who waits. And time is something you can't get back. But today I wanted to talk about something else. I wanted to talk to you all about... Friendship. Mm, can anyone break these twigs? <laughs> that is so easy. I mean, look how thin they all are. <laughs> Tig, you can't break a single one. What sort of crazy weird magic is this? Weird magic? <laughs> uh, uh, why don't you give it another try? Well then, have you figured it out what the magic is? Of course, go on, Mila. When we are together, we're strong. That a girl, Mila. Pirates, 
cannon on board! <laughs> Down with the enemy flag! <laughs> a pirate ship has to have a pirate flag! A pirate flag! Spike, look how crooked and bent their swords are! <laughs> They're sabers, and it's Captain Spike! Y'all got that? It's Captain Spike! Uh, Captain Spike, uh, what are we gonna do when Spatty and Striped come back? Yar! We'll cut them to pieces! Do you see how many cannons we have? Do you see how many sabers we have? Yes! <laughs> They're all bent! <laughs> I also have an idea! A brilliant pirate idea! <laughs> <laughs> So, there will be really thick jungle there? Yes, Mila. Nothing but thick, impassable jungle. And wild animals. And man-eating fish. <laughs> and aggressive spiders. <laughs> Perhaps we should avoid this desert island. Really? How come? The only way to become a true sailor is on a desert island. But perhaps it's far away. What are we going to do while we're sailing to the island? Ideas? We will gather supplies. You, Mila, collect some nuts. Tig will collect mushrooms. I'll take berries. Okay, let's make it happen. Ah, hey, Striped. Getting ready for a distant cruise? That's none of your business. Well, I I'm just worried about you, because your crew is quite wonky. You are the wonky one. Ah, you should have heard what Leo called you. <laughs> he said, Tig's no good as a helmsman. Give him the ship, and he'll sink it just like that. And Mila said, Yes, I can steer myself. Let Tig run around like a good cabin boy for a bit. But from our point of view, it's pretty obvious who the real captain of the ship is. Really? And who is that? Ah, oh dear. Of course it's you, Striped. Only you have stripes on your fur, like a real sailor. Yep, he said just like this. How can he be a captain if he doesn't even have stripes on his fur? And Milo went, we must make Leo a cabin boy so he won't get a big fat head. <laughs> can you imagine? They also said that there's no place for girls on board. Can you believe it? What? What? Yeah, they said that. Can you imagine? Wh what? Yar, pirates! Come on, put her in the brig! Leo! Tig! Help me! <laughs> Nobody's gonna help you! Yo ho ho! No, no one will save you, you now! now. Oh no, so sad! <laughs> so, you have stripes on your fur. Believe it or not, yes, I do. So what? You'll never become a captain. A captain? <laughs> of you two? No, thank you. I will never step aboard your ship again. You can go play by yourselves, you and Mila. No way. You can have Mila. I don't want to see you again or else. Or else what? <sighs> hmm. What's that? <gasps> it's Mila! Mia, Tig, help me! <laughs> hey, you! Let Mila go right now! No way! Your crew member is now ours! And the ship as well! <laughs> Yo ho ho! <laughs> Here we go! <come. laughs> <laughs>
don't believe it. How could I have been tricked by the Martins? Don't worry about it. You and I are best friends forever. Boys, what's that in Leo's paws? Huh? In my paws? <laughs> twigs! Yes, the twigs, which can only be broken one at a time, but are strong together. Well, let's set sail. The desert island is waiting for us. And sign, hoist the colors! <laughs> Lost inspiration. Ready? Yeah, I was born ready. Go for it. Okay, guys. Watch and learn. <laughs> huh? oh. Well, want to give it another try? Nah, I'm so bored. How about we play some tag instead? No, thank you. We play tag every day. Ugh. Well, then, maybe go to the river? Why, I don't mind. There are such beautiful water lilies there. The river again? Like we haven't done that a billion times already. Ah, <sighs> boring. Stork Theodore has lost his inspiration! Stork Theodore has lost his inspiration! Breaking news! Breaking news! Stork Did you Theodore hear? Has lost his Theodore has lost his, uh, inspiration. <sighs> yeah, so? What do you mean? You said it yourself, boring. Here's our chance for some adventure. We'll help Theodore find this thing, Inspur. Oh, yeah? You're right. Come on, let's go. Leo! By the way, what is inspiration? Well, ta ta ta, ta 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 ta. <laughs> ta ta ta, ta 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 ta. The sun peaked from the clouds. Like a star among the crowds. Oh, no, that's no good. Hello, Theodore. We heard that you lost your... Uh, the thing that... What's it called, huh? Ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta-ta. How about we help you find it again? Could you tell us what it looks like? This thing we're looking for? The inspiration. Oh, it's so luminous. It's so, so magnificent. It, it's like a... Uh, uh, like a flower? Like... Uh, 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 choo! Uh, inspiration livens up everything. Even the most commonplace trees, you can see how they breathe. Oh! Wow! Oh, wow! I think I found it! Found what? That thing, you know. Ta ta ta! Ta ta ta! Let me have a look. Hmm. Hmm. Well, indeed, this magical stone is very similar to inspiration. Uh -huh. This is the one you call inspiration. This stone is truly magical. A magical stone! Leo has found a magical stone! A magical stone! This magical stone. It is so shiny, so beautiful. Hmm, beautiful and shiny. I like the sound of that. The magical stone must be mine. Hmm. Ta 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 ta. Oh, very good. <laughs> That's our Theodore. Be quiet. Theodore has to know something. <clears throat> and now I will sing for you my new song. Uh, it's, to be honest, it's not exactly ready yet, but still. <laughs> <laughs> and now... You hear that? Someone's calling for help. Let's get moving. Go, go. The magical stone! <laughs> Spotty and Stripe are coming back here. Let's run! Hmm. 
Hmm. That's strange. No one was there. Who <gasps> cried for help? Hold on. Where's the stone? It was right there. <gasps> Martins! They've stolen our stone! Such cunning trickery! I just can't believe it! In a world where this is possible, there's no place for inspiration. I'm sorry. I have to be alone. I guess he must be very upset. Tell me about it. Once again, he lost his... Ta-da-da, ta-da-da. The magic stone was stolen. You know what? We're gonna get the stone back. <laughs> Good idea. Then inspiration will come back to Theodore. Let's go. <laughs> Give me the stone. We're the ones who found it. Is that right? Finders, weepers, loses, keepers. Oops, no wait. Finders, keepers, loses, weepers. But isn't that right? Sounds about right. <laughs> And you only have yourself to blame. <laughs> Give us a stone! Not gonna happen! Let's roll! Go Give out, us get a out. stone! <laughs> Stop! Thieves! I think we lost them. Haha! -ha, you're busted! Give me the stone! No! It's mine now! Marcus, let's go! <laughs> Give back our stone! Not a chance! <laughs> Breaking news! Stop! Breaking news! Magpie has rescued the magical stone! Breaking news! Breaking news! Magpie no, has rescued no, the magical the stone! No, no! The stone is ours! Hey, wait! Come back here! We can't catch Magpie for sure. But well, what are we going to say to Theodore? Well, you see, all in all, the stone was almost in our hands. But then we lost it. You mean that is to say you did all of this for me? Yes. Yes, because we wanted to give you back your, your da-da-da-da-da inspiration. We tried our very, very best. We really did. Will you forgive us, Theodore? Forgive you? But for what? This is the most inspirational thing I've ever heard. Nobody's done ever anything like this for me. You are my inspiration. And the stone, <laughs> it's just a stone. Really? Sure. You know what? I think my song just might be ready now. Here, listen to it. As the clouds depart the sky, inspiration makes us fly. As the clouds depart the sky, on your friends you can rely. <laughs> Let the sun shine upon friendship. <laughs> to the sun will wave hello. We're all friends, don't you know? Whatever happens, rain or shine, when together we'll be fine. at all this magic oh, 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 oh. with such friends nothing is tragic oh, 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 oh. round and round sun bunnies dancing oh, 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 oh. happy days they are enhancing oh, oh. Friends, nothing is tragic. Round and round, sun bunnies dancing. 
dancing. Happy days they are enhancing. <laughs> Keep looking. The stone has to be there. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Watch this. I got this. I am going to hit it on the first try. <laughs> you missed. It's all it's all because of the wind. <laughs> sure, the wind. <laughs> well, let me give that another shot. <laughs> Something always gets in Tig's way. Oh, foundling. Huh? Look at what I found. It was there in the sand. Oh, an egg. I wonder who it belongs to. And, oh, I wonder who's going to pop out of it. Or, or what's going to pop out of it. For something to pop out of it, one of us will have to sit on it first. So, Tig, go ahead. <laughs> sit down. Uh, why do I have to do it? Because you, my friend, are the most fluffy and the most pillowy. Do you think it could be a duck? <gasps> Maybe a stork. I heard that snakes also hatch from eggs. Ow! What in the... The snake bit me! Tig, <laughs> 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 relax, will ya? It's just a little turtle. Oh, look how cute it is. <gasps> He's so precious. <laughs> Tig can't tell a baby turtle from a snake. <laughs> oh, come on, Leo. I was just kidding a bit. Scared you, didn't I? <gasps> Ooh, a meal! <gasps> Milo, watch out! A vulture! Oh, a three-course meal! Hurry into the ah, forest! Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> oh. Oh. Phew, that was too close. <laughs> <laughs> we'll meet again! <laughs> Hey, guys! Look over here! Our little turtle glued his fingers together. <gasps> Maybe he's... a little weird? I got it! That must be why the other turtles ditched him! Oh, poor baby. We'll take really good care of you. Isn't that right, boys? Of course we will! Know what? I'm going to make a true tiger out of him! Why, a tiger, huh? He could become a great leopard. Oh, I will call you a little baby T. Uh. Remember, baby T, Tiger is the Tiger's king. <laughs> we got a king. Don't interrupt, Leo. T, do you know why everyone is afraid of tigers? Mm -hmm. Because they are really, really super fierce. Rawr! Make sense? Mm -hmm. Well, now you try. <sighs> Come on, louder, like this. Rawr! Enough! Now it's my turn. Bear in mind, Baby T, 
that an ambush is the best way to overcome an enemy. We leopards are experts at this. Rawr! <laughs> Quite like a leopard, <laughs> but it's a good start. Ah! And use that little precious angel in the bathtub, huh? <laughs> it's you, my little cutie patootie. Okay, baby T, your mission right now is to catch this dragonfly. And we tigers call this thing hunting. Now go! I think it's my turn to train little T now. No way! Because he's still not a real tiger yet. But he won't be. Because baby T will grow up to become the bravest leopard. Tiger, leopard, guys! Does it really even matter? He's just a baby! Oh, guys, guys! Wh wh where is T? You. Baby T, come out, say something. We're here. Nope, we'll never find him like this. We gotta split up. Tig, you go left. And Mila, you go right. I'll go straight ahead. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, baby T. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, Mila. Where are you going in such a hurry? Mm. Oh, oh Mappa Pandiga. Hello, sir. We can't find our little baby T anywhere. Where's little T? What do you mean? Baby T. You know, the little turtle? He has these special sort of little feet, as if they're glued together. Nope. I haven't seen him. Also, what would a turtle with glued feet, as you say, be doing in the forest? Turtles live elsewhere. No way, but where? Well, let me tell you. A long while ago, all turtles used to live ashore. But one fateful day, spring came about and brought along high waters. One of the islands on the river became completely covered in water. Then the oldest and wisest turtle turned to the river and asked it to have pity on them teach her children and grandchildren how to swim. The river was deeply moved by her plea and gave all turtles webbed feet. But they still lay their eggs ashore so that before going into water, the little ones could get a chance to know where they came from, land, their first home. It is a memory they will cherish for the rest of their lives. And when a baby turtle comes into the world, it is guided to the water by the soul of that very wise turtle. So that means that T is a water dweller. Yoo-hoo, T, where are you? Say something. Uh, there's no sign of him. Guys, guys, listen up. It turns out that T is a water dweller. What, a water dweller? If that's true, then that must mean he... Yes, he's at the river. <gasps> but guys, the vulture. <laughs> My lunch order's here, with an extra crispy tortilla shell. <laughs> Baby T. Could you say that again? Didn't catch that. Keep your filthy beak off Baby T. Mm. <laughs> I'm so honored to have guests for dinner. <gasps> Run, T. Save yourself. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
it out. Oh, baby oh. tea. Ah. Together. <laughs> Look, it's her. It's the wise turtle. Goodbye. Swim, T. This is your family. And well, I wanted to say you were one awesome tiger and a brave leopard. Don't forget to ride! Off with the feathered ones. about. You stop your chittering right away. We can't get no sleep. Shoot, shoot. Pipe down, you hear me? Who's flopping their trap this early in the morning? We did, we did it. it. Quiet. Stop yapping. Hey, you. Seems to me like it's you who's yapping here. And the birds are singing. No one can sing this nice in the whole forest. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Shoe feather freaks get moving. Your presence here with disapproving. Messing with my sleep, boo. Well, I say shoe. Sing now, birdie, sing the song. Sing about the thing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Shoe feathered one shoe. This is our forest, not yours. You disturb our sleep, so once again, shoo! Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long just to listen to your song. This is our forest, ours only. Feathered ones need to go! Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you sing? Sing and whistle, do a dance. You'll bring spring into our land. Forest flowers <laughs> need to hear just how lovely you can sing. This is our forest, not yours! You disturb our sleep, so shoot now! This forest is not all yours, so stop being so bossy! Leave our feathered neighbors alone! Well, how about this, huh? And this! What are you doing? Stop it right now! <laughs> I'm the boss around here, you all got that? Is that right? Well, you're not the boss of me! Yeah? <laughs> we run this forest. You all got that? I don't think so. Uh -oh. Come on, you all got nothing on us. <laughs> Take this, you striped wool sack. What? I'm going to show you. <laughs> Wait, I have no time for you right now. Leo, check your six. Watch out. Ooh. Ah, oh, stop it. Cut it out right now. Yeah. The birds are leaving. Can we have a time out? <laughs> What's this? You give up? Now you know who's the boss around here. Not you. You just wait and see. Everyone, get back to the base. It's time to draw up our battle plan.
Tig and Yara, you wait over here. Mila, you run over here and draw them into a trap. Those? No! No, they can't be! My, my mom told me... Where did me they come from? That they, that they sucked the blood out of everyone! Oh, no! How terrible! What do we do? Let's run to Mappa. He must know. These are squeaky mosquitoes! Grab the pine branches! Get to the cave! Yes! So now are we going to have to stay in here forever? Why forever? In winter, the squeaky mosquitoes go to sleep. Mappa Pandiga, what sort of squeakers are these anyway? And what are these mosquitoes? Good oh boy. My great-grandfather told this story to my grandfather. One day, the spirit of the tiger's own brother, Amber, was visiting him. But Amber was so evil that the animals of the tiger didn't want anything to do with him. It made Amber very angry, so he made up his mind to punish the animals. He summoned swarms of mosquitoes, squeaky mosquitoes, for animals had nowhere to hide. They went to complain to the kind spirit of the tiger. The spirit of the tiger asked Tiger to deal with the mosquitoes. <laughs> tiger couldn't do a thing. The squeaky mosquitoes were too small and too fast. Then the spirit of the tiger sent Leopard to fight them. And then Wolf. But they returned empty handed. Then a little birdie flew to him and said, Can I try? The spirit of the tiger agreed. You can, my friend. The birdie unleashed a mellifluous song, summoning the birds. Answering the boisterous call, the birds filled the sky, their wings flapped with vigor, and their beaks snapped with thunderous might. Not a day passed when the mosquitoes disappeared. The squeaking mosquitoes were gone. I know what we need to do. We gotta get all those birds back to the forest. I just don't know how we're gonna do it. We hurt them really bad. So that explains why there's so many mosquitoes in the taiga. <gasps> okay, what did you guys do to the birds? Well, we first tried to defend them from the martins. We really stuck it to them. And made things much worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come, the spirit of the tiger, come to us. Us, spirit of the tiger, and help us. Help us lest the tiger dry up and become a desert. Go on, go on. Oh, the great spirit of the tiger, please help us to bring back the birds to our forest. We'll always treat them well and never harm them. And we will protect them with our lives. And I beg you, the great spirit of the tiger, please. I miss hearing them sing so much. We will cherish each one of them. We'll never take them for granted. Ha, ha, ha.
I get it now. It all makes sense now. The mosquitoes are scared of the birds. Build your nest. Go on, build them. The best spots are right here, next to our home, our hollow. Here, here, and over here. Sing now, birdies, sing this song. Sing now, love, let's sing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long just to listen to your song. Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you see? Little feet. And then the fox started chasing the little hare away. <laughs> Leo, check it out. The fox. Just like a real one. Oh, Mila, seriously. Tig, don't interrupt. Mila, go on. Come on, show us what happened next. But the little hare <laughs> didn't get scared of the fox. <laughs> Look at that hare. He didn't get scared. <laughs> what a big hero. Monster! Run! Oh, uh, hey, Mila, is this also part of your performance? No. Hurry! Hey, careful! Oh, my Mica! Ah, you lot running! Not watching your step. Elsa! Thank you. So what happened exactly? Elsa! Elsa's coming! Oh, that's Elsa! He is so enormous! He's a hero! He saved our little boy! Yay! What now? A hero? Hero! Where? Hero! hero! He's safe! So what now? I'm a hero? <laughs> you hear that, Leo? I'm apparently a hero! <laughs> sure you are, Tig! Praise the hero! Praise the hero! Praise the hero! Come to her. What is this? Oh, your wiseness! It's the first heroic deed! Oh, hero! You saved our beloved little boy. And that's why we like to invite you to a feast. In your honor. Feast in my honor? This is so awesome. I'm a hero. Hero, hero. Tig, hero. you can't be serious. Sure I'm serious. Just watch me. Come on, guys. Come to my feast tonight. Praise the hero. Hey, you need to be more careful carrying me. Don't let the hero fall, right? Oh, hero, take the courageous. Are you quite happy staying with us? Uh-huh. It's a pity Leo can't see me right now. He would never believe this. <laughs> My picture? Awesome! Now I have something to show Leo at the feast. Careful! Oh, oh. Hey! Help me! Oh, oh. Huh? Made it. That was a close one. Praise the hero! Oh, Praise come on, hero. it's nothing. Praise Seriously. The, the second deed! Praise the second the deed! Hero. Oh, your royal highness! It's the second heroic deed! Take this! Get out of here! The third deed! It's the third deed! Praise the hero! <laughs> That's Praise right! The hero. It's so much fun Praise being a hero! Praise the hero! Oh, great hero Tig! <laughs> the legend's telling the truth! You came back to us again. The legend? Huh. <laughs> what kind of legend? An ancient legend. It happened a long, long time ago. <gasps> Weak and small was the Lemming tribe, afraid of everything. 
Anyone could hurt us. But most of all, our tribe was afraid of the forest monster. Every year, the monster would come to our pantry and plunder it. The lemmings then started to pray. Oh, great spirit of Tiger, we are small and need your protection. The spirit of Tiger heard them and promised to send down a hero. But the lemmings didn't recognize him right away. Only after he performed three heroic deeds, they realized he was the hero. The lemmings lowered their heads before the hero and told him about their troubles. The hero then went out and made the forest monster go away. That's awesome! What happened then? And then the hero left. But he said that if the forest monster would ever start bullying the tribe again, he will come back and we will recognize him by three heroic deeds. And now he's here. Yeah? So is he. <laughs> it's you, oh great hero. Praise the hero! And now when hero! you are here, you will chase Praise away the, the scary forest monster. Praise the hero! Heh, <laughs> not a problem. So who's your monster then? A uh, chipmunk or something? <laughs> chipmunk? <laughs> no, it's actually a little bigger. Actually, I'm talking about Bilza. Bilza? <laughs> Bilza. You know what? I'm... I'm not ready to be a hero. I'm not hero material, really. I think you should find someone else, okay? Lemmings, the hero has to perform a heroic deed! Hero! 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 Hey, what are you doing? Let me go! Praise the hero! Praise I don't want to be your hero. hero! Praise the hero! Hey, you! Let me out of here, you hear me? I need to go home now! Praise, Praise the, the hero! hero. I mean, I'll be back in the evening in time for heroism. Come over here. I saved your life. It's your turn to help me. Go find my friends. Please? Okay. <laughs> Cuba, catch! <laughs> you missed! <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. Did you just say cage? Go back and start from the beginning. Hero! 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 Why did I decide to become a hero? I could be at home right now with Leo. Hero! 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 Lemmings! The time of heroism has come! Leo, my friend, where are you? Hero! Do you feel that you're ready to fight the forest monster? No! The hero's ready! <laughs> Good luck, hero. We believe in you! some kind of agreement? Okay, this is the end. Tig, don't be scared. I'm here. Leo, buddy, oh, you're here. You here to save me? Yes, Tig, I have a plan. Leo, are you trying to blind him? Is that your plan? Patience, Tig. The performance is only getting started. Leo, a monster! Oh, this is it! Goodbye, my friend. Go away! Praise, Praise the, the hero! hero! Praise but, the hero! Uh, 
It wasn't me. Where did it go? The scary monster. <laughs> Here's your scary monster, Tig. <laughs> wow, guys, that was something. What a great idea you came up with. Even Beelza got scared of you. It's you who deserve to be called heroes. Oh, greatest of heroes. Oh, no, we're not your heroes. We were simply saving Tig. He's our friend. And the thing we used to scare away Beelza is Micah. Oh, in that case, in that case, let's have a feast to honor Micah. And friends! And friends! Ha, the Micah and Friends Day. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> oh, your wiseness. Leo, I did perform three heroic deeds. <laughs> Didn't I? Oh, Tig, you're hopeless. 